gang, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be repairing this column. It's made out of plaster. Somebody dropped it, busted off the corner right down here. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do the repair so it becomes completely unnoticeable. Let's get started. Now in order to repair this and have a lasting repair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drill with a bit and really rough this up and drill a bunch of small holes. This way the new material can anchor onto the column. I'm also going to add two of these stainless screws, one here and one there, and that's also going to help to hold that piece that I'm going to be pouring. When I make a form for this corner to pour it, I'm going to be using a material called Hydrocal, and I'm going to be mixing that with white glue. Let me drill the holes and install the two screws, and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, the two screws are now in. And I drilled a whole bunch of holes. These are 1 8 inch holes, about a quarter of an inch deep, using an ordinary twist drill for steel and wood. The next step, I'm going to make a little form out of cardboard that's going to take the shape of a new corner. And right over here is what it looks like, just out of a cereal box. I'll be taking a paper towel that's damp, and I'm going to push it all against that repair area. You don't want it dry when you do this. Once that's done, I'll place the cardboard form in position so it's all ready to be poured. Okay, the form is in position. I have a battery pushing up against here, and that's going to keep it very tight to maintain that same shape. And there's a piece of stone pushing against the cardboard to also keep the shape on this side. I'm now going to take the hydrocal. I'm going to mix it up with some water. I want to make it smooth but pourable. You don't want to make it too thick. It'll be too difficult to get the plaster to go to the bottom, so you want to make it pourable. And I'm also going to be adding about a half a teaspoon of Elmer's glue in with that plaster. Okay, we pour it in. Gonna make a little bit of a mess. That's ready to do. Push this down to the bottom, work it up and down like that. It's going to take any voids out. Pour a whole bunch more in. I'm going to have to finish this off camera. Once it's cured, I'll come back, we'll remove the paper, and we'll take a look. Okay, this was allowed to set up overnight. What I did off camera was take the hydrocal and make it a little bit thinner so it would be easier to pour into the void over here. And once I filled it up, I took the sponge and I just gently went over the surface like this wiped it around. I moved this of course and held that with my hand and just smoothed it out and that was it. If there's any spaces that are missing in there very easily you can mix up some more hydrocal using the sponge put it into that area and smooth it and allow it to dry. So let me take this apart and see how well it did. Of course I'm going to have to take some 220 sandpaper to blend things in better. So let's take this all away. Not too bad, there's a little bit of a void here, and there's a couple of imperfections in the surface which the camera might not show because it's white. But overall, it took the shape very well. So now I'm going to take some 220 sandpaper and very gently just go over the edges. That feels better. Round off the corner. Do the same for this one. Better. And the top is pretty smooth from that sponge. And to the average person, they wouldn't even know that this was damaged. That's perfect. The side I sanded a little bit. Looks better. The key is you want to make sure that plaster that you mix is thin enough to flow into all these little spaces. If any voids are left, like I said earlier, take the hydrocal, mix it up, take a putty knife, push it into there, let it set up, and then just sand it again. Kind of 
little bit of damage right there. All right, it's pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.